Welcome back, <clears throat> gang, gang. Welcome back. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments. To the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and rocking with the kid. For the people that's been rocking with me since sliced bread, I've just been rocking with me in general. What up? Thank you guys. I'm very grateful, thankful, and humble for people that's been booking readings with me, sending me donations. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and slide into this reading. It's basically just going to be a quick reading. Because it's just like some quick messages that I got from like a karmic. I really do feel like she's a bitter baby mama. Um, a karmic went and got a tail reading done, right? So she would not let a masculine sleep or she wakes him up or put stress or worry on him. Because she went to a tail reader and a tail reader told her that the mat, that the divine masculine and the divine feminine is together in a 5D. Look at this. <laughs> I had to get all that out before I flipped that bad boy over. Somebody wants somebody to be sad and in distress. Like, the tarot reader was like, yeah, they be chilling together all the time in the 5D. She like, the 5D? What's the 5D? She didn't even know what the fuck the 5D was. And some of them bitches only know that it's 5D because she watch you. And um, before we go any further into that reading, let me go ahead and say this. Any karmic or anybody that I don't fuck with, I have put my attentions. If you are watching my YouTube, any social media, or watching any of my platforms, or watching any of my videos, and I don't fuck with you, or I cut you off, or you are a karmic, meaning you are a karmic friend, karmic relationship, karmic family, or you are a woman that think I want a masculine or dealt with a masculine, the same masculine that I dealt with, you are no, you are not allowed to watch my fucking videos. If you watch my videos, my content, or send people or do anything, I've gave spirit permission and I'm giving them permission live in this reading to send any type of demon to you. Any negativity because it's something that you guys are projecting or putting out negative. You put on a masculine or female, whichever, however, I don't give a fuck. You better Google a lithium, and I might have said it wrong because that's lithium. It's like a battery. Uh, Levithian. It's L E V I T H A N. That's the that's one of those heaviest demons. If you're not supposed to be watching my shit, and I'm telling you because I have that ability, because I told the most high only allow the divine people to watch my stuff. So if you're watching my shit after the night, you won't be watching it because you're gonna be scared to go to sleep. Because I make sure that them demons keep your ass up. Y'all gonna be hearing noises in your house, you're gonna be feeling heavy, breathing all of that shit on you. Because I told the I I told the divine, I don't want none of y'all fuckers watching my shit. So back to the reading, and I do apologize, gang gang. But I just had to say that because I have to do my job to let these hoes, harlots, fuck niggas, fuck boys, whoever, let them know if you watching my shit and you ain't supposed to be watching, you won't be watching it no more. Because them demons that the divine is going to place upon your ass, you won't ever be able to sleep. I bet you y'all going to be going to sleep with the light on. And I'm going to tell you something, that, that light don't save you. They still going to fuck with you, period. Because... Remember, the light that you turn on is not a light being. It's a fucking electricity. It's just the light. <laughs> That's what happens when you want to be dark. Now, since this woman knows that this person is going to sleep and chilling with you in the 5D, this person is trying to come up with other things or other ways. That's like I said, been trying to watch tarot readings and shit. You see what popped out? Death. See, I said I was going to send little spirits to you. The divine, see, the most I said, uh-uh, and I was waiting. That's what the divine is placing upon you. These are your only options. Sorrow, misery, pain, and death. Because somebody is really, it's a karmic. I really feel like it's a female. She mad as hell. Like, because this divine masculine about to cut her ass off and offer divine feminine something. Her dust ass. Baby, you just need to worry about your pH balance. Like, he not coming to you. It's over. It's over. Move over now. Game over. It's my turn now. That's what Divine Feminine is saying. Move over, baby. You done lost your turn. Your turn been passed. I control, I control the rock. Six of, look, six of cups. I better say six of pentacles. It don't matter. The Divine Feminine control the rock. The man that you trying to keep doesn't want you. He want to give to somebody else. And he's going to give to that person because it's meant, it's destined, it's ordained. And you just building that hole that you digging that you thought that you was going to put the divine feminine or divine masculine in. That's what the divine is going to blow your ass into. You digging your own grave. You putting money on your own head. Everything that you doing that's wicked and evil, you doing it to yourself. Because that man said... I ain't too proud to be. Yo, in the morning, I ain't too proud to be. So that man's about to come in and be. Because he's saying, sugar pie, honey bun. 
And you know that I love you, love you. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. Hey. Gang, gang. Did you hear that? They love you and nobody else, Divine Feminine. Nobody else. This motherfucker said... They created a family, possibly. They don't even want the family no more. The family is making them sad. Five of Cups. They saying, fuck their family. Fuck the family they created. They ready to step outside and create this with you. They're going to be sad as fuck if you tell them no, though. I'm telling you, Five of Cups. Because they done wasted time with this snake-ass karmic. Trifling-ass karmic trying to portray herself or himself as a god or a goddess. And they really a fucking peasant. They ain't even a... The divine said they ain't even a page. You see, the page is covered up with five of cups. They not even a page. The most high said they not even on the map. So if we was playing spades, like, y'all can't even go bored. Like, y'all not even on the map. Like, that's like balls on the table. Nuts. Where somebody go 10 and you get three books. Like, y'all not even on the map. I'm telling you. Y'all are not... Look. Y'all not on the map. This man or this divine feminine, whoever, divine masculine, divine feminine, they taking their talents elsewhere. They're taking it to South Beach. Not literally going to Florida, but they're taking it to the divine feminine, the earth angel, the real goddess, the one that's not fake. And the divine is going to shake your ass up so good that the whole world going to see that you was fake. And whatever the fuck you were selling, I'm going to tell you something because this, I was saving it. Whatever the fuck you were selling, once spirit put your ass on a platter to serve you to the world, whatever the fuck you were selling, you're going to get sued. I'm telling you, you're going to get sued because a lot of spirit is going to take the protection off of these people. Look, King of Pentacles, because of all the turmoil you were trying to put on this masculine to make him be tired, fatigued, keeping him low vibrating, the divine is going to place it upon your ass, but you're going to get sued, meaning somebody's going to get sick and they're going to the the divine is going to place it that whatever you were selling is what made them sick. I'm telling you, that's good enough for your ass. That's for you get for trying to portray like you a damn god or a goddess. Dusty ass. Dusty feet. Please don't bother me. Queen of Cups in reverse. Bitch, you, how the fuck can you be a, a, a fucking god or a goddess and you a queen of cups in reverse? A goddess is somebody who's peaceful, who's emotionally attached, somebody who's loving, nurturing, and caring. You're none of that. And even if you is that to your family, you're not that to the king of pentacles. So, therefore, you're not a goddess. Because it's the most high. Then it's your husband. Then it's your kids. Because the most high said, if you pray to me and take care of your husband, I will take care of your kids. But y'all do it different. Y'all take y'all, y'all put y'all kids and all this shit above your mate. Look at that. Knowing damn well that ain't how the fuck you supposed to do it. That's why things don't work off. Things are always hidden. People run off or sneak off. Because you ain't supposed to put no damn kids before no motherfucking adult. That causes chaos and confusion within the home. I feel like a female was treating her son or her daughter better than she was treating her goddamn masculine. And he the one who pays all the bills. Or he the one to take care of the home. How about you let little Peanut, little Pookie, and Ray Ray go out there and work and pay the bills? They can't do that shit, can they? So I... I think you should have been doing something different, but it's too late. Spirit said, move on. Because this masculine's coming through. He leaving your ass. All that dusty feet uh, voodoo that your dusty feet ass was doing. Look at look at, look, look at little dusty feet. All that shit that you was doing, baby, it's coming right back to your ass. Three of swords. Ain't no reuniting. So if a masculine left your ass, your ass is grass. He ain't coming back. And it's nothing that you can do. And if you still hanging on or still trying to get this masculine to reach out to you, you texting and calling, baby, after the night. And some of y'all ain't even got to wait till the night because a lot of these cars is daytime. I'm telling y'all, after the day, y'all won't be doing shit. Y'all going to be because the divine said, this is it. We pushing these bitches out the way now. Today is the last day. I'm telling you, tonight when y'all get ready to lay down and go to sleep, I bet you... It's going to be a lot of women that's going to be checking out into the asylum or somewhere because they're going to go book. I'm telling you, they're going to go bat shit crazy. They put in them heavy fucking demons. Look at this, five of wands. They put in these heavy fucking demons on these bitches and niggas who portrayed like they was gods and goddesses. Trying to keep somebody stuck or moving towards a lover. Eh, a lot of y'all bitches was watching my live. You're going to get double the demons for being a false fucking person to a man. I knew it was more of so a divine... A divine um, masculine. Look at that. It's a it's a harlot Jezebel because she knows she's not the privileged lady trying to come in with roses and shit like she's sweet. And she ain't. She only here for fucking money. 
her sorry ass. Yeah, bitch, you sorry. The fuck you sitting up here trying to use this nigga? The fuck you gonna use him for? And it's supposed to be your man. Like I said, great fortune behind motherfucker saying, well, this bitch was only here for money and you can expect that. She was only using you for fucking stability. That's why this bitch about to get real sick. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I did not say she about to get real sick. I'm telling you, and she gonna lose her job. A lot of these bitches about to get sick and lose their motherfucking job. If you're pregnant, you and your kid. First, they gonna kill the kid. Look, journey sideways. First, the kid, the kid ain't gonna make it regardless. They say the kid ain't gonna make it at all. Um, was too, I take it back. If you a karmic and you got pregnant, that kid ain't gonna lie. That kid is not, it's, it's either one of y'all gonna die. One of y'all gotta die. So if the kid dies, you live, you better go on about your business. If you die, then you just die. The, the divine feminine gonna be raising your kid with that divine masculine that you try to stop their relationship. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because the divine said it's not your, you you think that you get to choose who, who this masculine or who this divine feminine go to. And because they don't come from the class or whatever the fuck. Because somebody can feel real bougie. Like somebody trying to act like they high maintenance and, and the bitch come from the projects. Like you only beca high, you only high maintenance because this wealthy man. Like you, like bitch, you not you none of the shit that you portray. You're not bossy. You're not none of that. It's all because of this. It's the wealthy man or the wealthy woman that is the privileged lady or the privileged man, the gifted person that makes this person look like they uh, bougie or in style. They not these bitches is ghetto. These niggas is ghetto. They just got somebody who had money to change what they look like. Look in despair, and these bitches know that their meal ticket is gone. Somebody planned out a long life. They thought they somebody thought this was the end all be all. They they thought they was getting the house together. They thought they was gonna start a little family. All this shit. The divine said, "No, you're not." Spiritual court. That's the only thing that's happening to y'all with the bad health and on the bottom is the man. You should have thought about that before you persevered. I mean, before you tried this masculine. And I'm going to get some some moonology. I was going to get some spell casting, but they said get the moonology because we got a message. A new start is coming, divine masculine or divine feminine. This person is coming to you. Look, take action. It's coming now. We had, uh we just got out of what Aries season. So is this Taurus? I think, I don't know. Yeah, I think this is Taurus season. Before April is out. That's what I'm telling you. And it's only, what, three more days in April? Yeah, y'all bitches is fuck. I'm telling you. Aries is no longer Aries. So y'all know this shit is past. They saying it's past due. Y'all bitches supposed to get through a couple of weeks ago. Step outside your comfort zone. And it says, believe in the impossible. Ooh. Y'all was out here doing voodoo. North Node means your money. Y'all about to be fucked up. Y'all are about to be fucked up. Because they just said North Node means money. So what they got to do with it? Y'all was using spirituality to make it seem, to make somebody believe in the impossible. You stepped outside your comfort zone. So that means you were portraying either you a man or female. doesn't matter. They stepped outside their comfort zone, meaning they stepped outside of who they were to portray some type of spirituality to make somebody believe them. That they the spiritual person or they the god or the goddess. It says, what do you need to release? They about to release your ass. Because that one and moon, that was yesterday. Oh, shit. Some, somebody could have got off the yesterday. This masculine or this divine feminine or divine masculine is about to reach out to you. Because they released what they needed to fucking re release. They, they was just scared to move towards you. Because they didn't think if you was going to accept it or not. Because it says prosperity lies ahead. And we are in tourist season right now. So that's why I'm telling you, divine feminine. You see it. Somebody is getting released. The answers you need are coming. Some of you guys, and I see Gemini, but I'm, that's not Gemini, I meaning Gemini season in June. I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with a person that got split personality. This is a person who got a mental disorder. Like, this person is really crazy and not in a sense like you should be scared of. I'm talking about crazy like this bitch need to be put down. And Spirit said, look at the bigger picture because, oh yeah, they about to get her ass. When a new start comes, that means when something new comes, something ended. And I keep seeing that car when the life ends. That's what I'm telling you. So, bing bong, divine masculine. If she was threatening you or your divine feminine or divine family, he was threatening you or your divine masculine family. Don't matter. The spirit is telling you, you and your loved ones are safe. The person you want to move towards is safe. The person who um that you're leaving, don't let them hold you back. They can't stop shit. You got to, uh, what did spirit say? You a movement by yourself, but you a force when we're together. So, when the most high and the divine forces is with you. You you move, 
You a movement by yourself, but you a force when y'all together. The divine forces got your back. This person can't touch or do nothing to you. They want you to go towards your love. Bring love into the situation and watch this. When you go towards your love, everything's going to work out. All you have to do is express it. Express yourself. Let me tell y'all something. I am always available for readings throughout the whole day. Just book with me, baby. Y'all can't take my energy. That shit don't get me. This is my job. This is what I was destined here to do. Look at it. And as I'm saying that I'm picking up journey. This is what I'm here to do. So it don't do nothing to me, baby. I can do a thousand readings in one day, baby. And they all going to be accurate. Period. Because I work for the motherfucking divine. And that's it. That's who give me. That's my bread and my water. That's who give me my nutrients. Period. But if you like to book a personal reading, please email me at Sphinx Terror. Or, or you can do instant booking on Facebook. Or you can DM me on Instagram or on TikTok. If you would like to send a donation, you can zell it to me under Sphinx Terror at Yahoo.com. They're not required, but they are greatly appreciated. Or you can cash at me. Um... At dollar sign, capital S, Sphinx Terror. Again, thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Thank you guys for all the kind words. You know, I love you, gang. High vibrating beings, divine beings, you know. Make sure y'all tune in again. And I will be coming in. Hopefully I will, because I want to make no promises. Because one thing I don't like to do is tell a lie. Uh, But we should be back on track Sunday with the dopest love story. And your weekly visions. Because I just, it wasn't nothing bad or nothing. I just wasn't in the mood of doing. That's just the truth. So, namaste, gang gang.